Hi, I'm Fia Hindersson. I work for Invacare as the European Group Product Manager and I am an occupational therapist by profession. I have been working with wheelchair users and product development for many years. Setting up someone in a wheelchair can sometimes be a challenge and there are different approaches that can be taken. This video will show one approach using the Invacare Readalia 45. The goal when doing a wheelchair setup is to achieve a good posture to encourage mobility and movement. The user should have as close to neutral pelvis position as possible and the head should be well balanced with a horizontal line between ears and eyes. From the side, the head should be in line with the trochanter and there should be good contact between the wheelchair and the body for efficient pressure distribution. Preferably, the user should sit into the seat rather than on top of it for efficient weight distribution. Before starting the setup, I always make sure the user is not sliding out of the chair by tilting it slightly. Be careful not to tilt the chair too much, otherwise the head will naturally go forward. This will increase tachyphosis on the spine and the posterior rotation of the pelvis, making it difficult to do an accurate setup. The backrest should then be slightly reclined to open up the hip joint. I always start the setup by removing the footrest and placing cushions or a box or something similar to create the right height for the feet. Usually the user will place the feet at the depth in which their hamstrings are relaxed. Check at this point to make sure that there is no pressure behind the knees. Relaxed hamstrings of the user is the most important precondition when setting up a wheelchair. If they are not relaxed, the pelvis will go into posterior position. Next, ensure the user is sitting well into the seat and that the seat depth is good. You can check this by placing your fingers between the seat and the inside of the knee. You should only be able to get two or three fingers in the gap. If the seat depth needs to be adjusted, use the enclosed Allen key and adjust the seat depth by undoing the screws which are located in the middle under the seat frame. If the seat width needs to be adjusted, simply undo the screws located under the seat. It can be widened up to 50 mm on each side. The maximum adjustment range can only be set with small rear wheels. Please note, the user's sides should just be touching the side rest to ensure a good posture and to avoid too much pressure. If required, the tension adjustable backrest can also be adjusted in width by undoing the four screws. The backrest tube can slide outwards and forwards to 45 degree angle. The seat cushion that has been chosen for this user has a slight curvature that gives guidance for legs and allows space for the protruding sitting bones. Next we look at the backrest shape. I have chosen the Flex 3 tension adjustable backrest as the straps can be adjusted to the user's body shape and requirements. Start by opening each strap and define where the user needs to have firm support. Tighten that strap well at this point and then fasten the additional straps accordingly.
Be sure the cover follows the defined shape of the backrest. It is important that the headrest is in the correct position, supporting under the skull, to give the user support when the chair is tilted and reclined. The headrest has many adjustment possibilities, such as height, depth, angle, and the wings can also be angled. To achieve the correct position, tilt the chair slightly, add the headrest, angle the wings, and check the support by carefully moving the head. Next, we will look at the armrests. The height of the armrests should be set at the level in which the shoulders are relaxed, but the arms are still supported for a good seating posture. If the armrest needs to be adjusted, use the Allen key and open the screws in order to adjust the height. Now it's time to attach the leg rest and place the user's feet in the selected position as mentioned at the beginning of the video. If needed, the height of the foot plates can be adjusted by undoing the screw on the back of the leg rest. And do it slightly so the footrest tube can slide. You will be able to feel where the preset indentations are located to set it to the correct height for the user. The footrest can be adjusted in both depth and angle by simply undoing the screw on the side with an Allen key and adjusting it accordingly. If the user needs a wider setting on the leg rest, the foot plates can move away from each other by undoing the screws under the front of the seat. The leg rest can individually slide 50 mm outwards. Next, have a check to make sure the user is sitting well into the seat by checking their back, their pelvis area and legs. Check the support is where you would like to have it by pressing in a finger. Now for the final checks and the setup is complete. Check the hamstrings to make sure they are relaxed and also check the user's midline position. Thank you for watching and I hope that you found this video useful.